Welcome back, Foul Pals, to Orchids for Dummies. This is Foul Pal Darrell speaking, and in today's video, we will be talking about the orchid fertilizer known to man as seaweed extract. I will be educating you guys today on the benefits of using it, how often to use it, what orchids and plants to use it on, and why do you hear so many people talking about it? Stay tuned, foul pal, stay tuned. Foul pals, as promised, the first thing that I want to educate you on is the benefits of using the seaweed extract. A lot of times you will hear orchid growers or orchid hobbyists talking about seaweed extract is to promote new root production. Now, keep in mind, new beginners, most of these people are now using seaweed extract to promote that root production because they have already burned and rotted off the roots that they already had by applying too much fertilizer. So, Fail Pals, if you are a true new beginner and you do not have a strong understanding of NPK, I will leave a video link above. First and foremost, before you get to um, using such high concentrated fertilizers, understand what it is and how to use it adequately. So, with that being said, that disclaimer being out there, I want to let you know that seaweed extract is an organic derived from the brown seaweed, okay? So, that is why they call it an extract, okay? Now, that has minor and major nutrients, okay? That is going, it even has amino acids in it that is going to stimulate hormones in your phalaenopsis orchid to promote new root production, more pseudobulbs. A lot of you want to know how to get that double spike in your phalaenopsis. This is what seaweed extract is actually for. Now, me, this is how I choose to use it, okay? I told you guys I love to use it as a foliar feed because I do have orchids and plants that I am growing by the method called water culture. Now, with me using pure water, I have to make sure that all of my orchids are getting the right amount of nutrients that they would be getting in their natural environment out in the wild. So understanding that this is something that I would refer to as a supplement, okay? This is supplements. This is not something that you would want to only feed your Phalaenopsis orchid. I know it's such a big bottle and you are not using big concentrations of it. So this is really a lifetime supply, guys. It was um, very affordable on Amazon. You have to look it up yourself. It was different. It was different types of vendors, different makes of this seaweed extract. I got what was best for me and my budget. You do what's best for you and your budget, okay? Now, keep in mind that this is a supplement. So, the only time that I would use my seaweed extract is in the early spring and summer, okay? I would use my, um, my seaweed extract in the seasons... Okay, the season that the Phalaenopsis orchid is promoting that new root production before it actually starts to spike and bloom for you, okay? So first step first is that you could either use this all alone by itself in a concentrated dosage, but what I like to do is um, once a month before spring, so I'm going to do it three times, three times in three months. I'm going to give it some, depending on how the seasons is going, because right now it's January, but because of my living conditions, because my climate is a subtropical climate, very similar to Florida's, where you have Orchid Diva and Falpal Blanca, I mean, I'm sorry, you have Orchid Diva and you have Falpal Maria Young, okay, living in Florida. My environment here in Alabama, subtropical, is very similar to that. So now in January, my plants are already thinking that it's spring because we are having a, a high temperature of 64 degrees Fahrenheit and we're having a low of 
sometimes 30, 35, okay, somewhere between there. So we have that real big swing of temperature. So some of my plants are getting ready to make new root production. So remembering, I only use my seaweed extract in the early um, spring going into summer. I stop using it before I get to summer, okay? So understanding that this is only to really encourage um, new root production is to encourage um, new pseudobulbs, back bulbs, um, to encourage those double spikes. So this is not something that I would give it year round. Okay, now stay tuned. I will show you how I make my foliar feed and I show I will teach you guys when and how to apply it on your Phalaenopsis orchids. If stay you tuned. haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the People's Channel. I have very great videos coming, so you want to make sure to ring the bell so you will be notified. Join my Facebook group, darling, and you will not miss a beat. My Facebook group is called Fal Pal. I will leave a link below, okay? Now, how to <laughs> effectively um apply seaweed extract as a foliar feed okay now reading the directions thoroughly thoroughly honey because in previous videos i was only using one drop of i was only using one drop of seaweed extract per gallon now that is when you want to use it as a supplement as far as using it in your watering okay but using it as a foliar feed it directs me to use um, one ounce, okay, and this measuring cup right here, which is what I use for my orchids, so no judgment zone. You can see two ounces down here, so it'll be a little bit around here for one ounce. That's why the water is this dark. Now, keep in mind that this is not the type of fertilizer that you want to use as a feed as far as your roots, as far as pouring it into um, your watering regime. This would absolutely burn your roots off like that. This is only going to be adequate and applicable for orchids that you're going to use it as a foliar feed. Now, you do not want to drench your orchid when you apply it as a foliar feed. So, what you want to do is make sure to get a fine mist bottle, okay? The water that comes out of the nozzle is in a fine mist, okay? So, it's not going to soak your orchid at all. Also, this is 100% rainwater that I added it to. Now, I would not recommend using tap water with um, two with an ounce of seaweed extract, but if you want to just <laughs> burn all your roots off and start all over again, get your life. But all of us that actually love our green pets, what we are going to do is just make sure, okay, because it's also a timing that you want to foliar feed, and that's going to be in the late hours in the early morning, typically when the sun is coming up and when the sun is going down. That's when the Phalaenopsis orchid in particular, they open up their um, pores and they open up their, they start to open up. That's all I can tell you as far as making it make sense. So that is when they are going to be receptive to receive nutrients from foliar feeding. Okay. Otherwise you're just going to be spraying the foli You're just going to be spraying the fertilizer on your orchid. It's going to build up socks and it's going to make your orchid not in the best of health. Now, remembering that I have orchids that are mounted and orchids that are in full water culture and semi-water culture, those are the orchids that is going to need the most foliar feeding. Also, your orchids that is recovering that you might have repotted, okay? That is also what you want to keep in mind, that seaweed extract is awesome. For this is the last step that you want to take to repotting a Phalaenopsis orchid, okay? Even with your house plants that you are propagating, before you pot them up, you want to dip the roots, okay, into the seaweed extract mixture before you actually pot it in soil. So that's a great tip and trick for all of my house plant, um, my all of my house plant foul pals. Now, 
Like I said, when it comes to your Phalaenopsis orchid, you only want to use one drop, okay? At the most, one tablespoon per gallon when you are applying it as a feed. Now, as I said, this is also a supplement. So whatever fertilizer that you use, me, I use the Orchid Plus, the 2014 20 that is what i use so i would add just a pinch of that to this to give it a good and all feed okay because this is only a supplement your phalaenopsis orchid needs all of its major um nutrients which is going to be the first number in that mpk okay this is not even an mpk situation okay this is just a supplement to get the most for your buck most of you want to know how to get that double spike Honey, this is going to do it. Well, Fal Pals, if you have any other questions, please leave it in the comment box below. Let me know what videos you would like to see me talking about. Now, Fal Pals, I want you guys to be able to discern what type of orchid that you would actually give the um, seaweed extract to. Now, keep in mind that I said that I'm only doing this early spring and right before summer. That is when I'm using this supplement with my um, regular fertilizing regime. If you don't know what I use, I will leave a info card above. This is a orchid that is grown in the method of water culture. Now, when I use that seaweed extract that I apply as a feed, remember I said using just one drop per gallon, I am going to put it in this, I'm gonna put it in here um, and fill it just as I have now with it touching the base and I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes Okay, I'm not going to let it sit overnight I'm going to pour it out after 30 minutes and then let it dry This is also an example if you want to wet the roots before you add the fertilizer to it Okay, if I let this dry out and the roots are bone dry, they're gray and silver Yes, I do want to um, wet my roots first before I add that seaweed extract to it. I already told you guys that mounted orchids are orchids that have a hard time getting all of the nutrients that a potted orchid would get. So definitely want to use your mounted orchids as a phalaenopsis to receive that foliar feed. Let's say that you just bought home that new orchid, okay? It is just done blooming, okay? That is an orchid that you want to use the foliar feed extract on as well. After you pot it up into some new fresh media, the first time that you fertilize it, you want to use seaweed extract just at one time, okay? Remember, I'm only doing this once per month, so I'm not, even if you're using a weekly, weekly dose, once you add the seaweed extract to it, Boo Boo Kitty, it would no longer be a weak dosage, okay? The last orchid that I can think of is your Phalaenopsis orchids that is in rehab and that you are encouraging new root production on, okay? This is an orchid that has been using seaweed extract and the foliar feed. It was in recovery, and as you can see, leaves and root has really grown has really grown since I've been using that seaweed extract. Now I want to let you guys see how to apply it as a foliar feed before I let you go. Okay, remembering that the Phalaenopsis orchid does not like to have water between the leaves and the crown. So you do want to kind of make sure that it gets as much as, as, much as it can get. So using my fine mist bottle, this is how I would do it, holding it at a 90 degree angle, making sure that I'm not spraying it in the crown, okay? And make sure that you get it on the top, okay? Because the bottom of the leaves is actually where the Phalaenopsis orchid breathes from. So you don't want to suffocate your Phalaenopsis orchid. So here we go. And ta-da! Just like that. And so she is going to soak that up. And that is how those roots are going to keep on going. Keep on going. I thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Please tell your friends and your sisters and your cousins about Orchids for Dummies. A place where they can learn how to grow Phalaenopsis orchids. Until next time!